its fruit juice belongs to the most targeted food commodities that are adulterated, which are also known as food fraud. This video is therefore showcasing the last stage in mango juice production, following the good manufacturing practices which the East African community recommends in the production of a safe fruit juice. After the mangoes are washed thoroughly, crushed and filtered following the food safety systems, it is ready for packaging. But before that, several tests have to be taken to ensure that the product meets the recommended standards. We have different sampling points. We have sampling at the preheater when the product is, has come in for pasteurization to 60 degrees centigrade. The quality controller picks the sample there. That's the chemical analysis to test for the bricks, the appearance, the acidity. Then we have another sampling point at the deaerator where now the quality controller, that's now like the final one. So before it is forwarded to the, to the filler to fill, the QC must clear it that yeah, this bricks is okay, pH is fine, the acidity is okay. Then even at the filler, we also have samples where these samples are picked and this is where now the microbiologist picks his samples. Because microbiology is not, is, these are not tests that you do at the same time, on the same day. When you pick the sample, it means like 72 hours, then before you conduct the test, then the test, the samples will take some hours or days in the incubators before you release the results. When the results are satisfactory, the pulp is then released to be filled in special containers. They are aseptic, safe for food packaging. Most people are able to afford the plastic bottles and uh, these plastic bottles vary in, uh, in size and even the thickness, they, they, they vary. So, uh, like for us, we use what they call hot, hot packaging. Uh, we package our juice when it is still hot. It is also another process of preventing microorganisms from breeding in our bottles. And then after tightly sealing the, the bottles, we cool them in a solution of, of, of water that is disinfected and then we take to the packaging room where we put our labels. The package has to show when the product was manufactured and its expiry date, the place of the factory and many other things including the batch number. So batch numbering helps you to, to, to conduct traceability. Because if there's a problem, for example, you get my product and you find there's some piece of hair, you know, you have to come back to me and how are you going to complain? You tell him the product number, but of this date, this batch number, I got a problem. So using that batch, I trace backwards and then I'll know what happened on that day. People were someone worked without covering hair or if not, then during cleaning outside there, they did not do the cleaning well. Or if the product has some pesticide residues and the client comes and says we tested it and we got pesticide residues, we trust backwards and say, okay, these mangoes came from who? We will know the pastors were not supplied and therefore we follow up to where the mangoes come from, the farms, the fields. We shall now begin conducting our research from there. Our agronomists will do the work to establish whether these guys are actually using pesticides or fumigants. Standards governing key critical points along the manufacturing unit and the use of quality infrastructure services are all key. Yeah, that flow is necessary in production of food especially. You need that flow because raw material is still raw material. It has, it has, it is still affected or infected, whatever, infested, whatever I can call it. It's not safe. So when you bring it near to maybe the finished product, you'll be recontaminating the product. So that's why the raw material store is a bit far. And then production is sort of isolated also because that's why we, de we destroy all that is, makes the product unsafe. So that was also an, an, and it's a control environment because it's a high risk. The door should not be touched because to avoid cross-contamination. Then also ease work, make work easy when someone is coming in something, the door should just open automatically. And then another thing is uh, it also enables us to, to have those separation and zonings. So you know you're living from this zone to the other one, you don't have to again touch that zone and contaminate that area, just move. After you've changed and, 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 what, and uh, soaked your feet in the foot bath, just move. So it helps, it facilitates movement of workers, 
and also facilitates movements of, uh, of items or material. Fruit juice product, relevant quality issues, testing, bricks, pH, purity, acidity, microbiology testing, labeling of packaged food, fruit products shall include the following information, name of food, trade name or brand, net content, country of origin, list of ingredients and allergens, name and address of manufacturer, lot identification, instruction for use, date of manufacture, expiry date, storage condition. These videos showcasing the mango juice processing following the East African standards are some of the efforts targeting food processors to embrace total quality management which will develop and transform the East African community fruit and vegetable sector from the nascent domestically focused to a robust industry capable of exporting fresh and processed value-added products of sufficient qualities and quantities. <laughs>